null element, huh? Let's continue. We're not done with this flipping dollhouse, right? Or fact I picked up. I think it, I should take a closer look at it. I was about to do that. Yeah, there's definitely some things going on with this particular artifact of artifact-like qualities. I see a button. You click that son of a bitch until it does something. My god, it was full of swans. Alright, cool. And then we just throw that in the trash can. Alright, so it has a circular base on it. Uh-huh. Looks like it's made out of copper or bronze, looking at the corrosion here. Or oxidation, rather. Uh-huh. An ornate pan panel of panel-like qualities. Let's see. Panel, do you go here? Not quite. It almost looks like it does. Alright, well, we've got a swan, and there's a swan place here, so boop. Obtained a model lamp. Congratulations. Alright. Lethal squints looking up. There's one. There's one. Oh. Ah, my eyes. Oh my god, there's a back to this too? Hey. I think we know where our thing goes. To spin to win. All right. Thank you for the the tour. I guess we'll go back here now. He just wants us to know that there is in fact another side to this. Uh huh. So maybe if I turn all these inward, something cool will happen. Or maybe it wants them all up. I guess we'll see soon enough, huh? Well, nothing happened, so that probably means that that is not correct. My probably, I mean almost certainly. Let's try ma matching it to the other one. Yeah, that one's much different. So we have one... G Does it want it mirrored? It may want it mirrored. It has this one pointing down. So let's go ahead and go with that assumption. That wants, like, these ones pointing that way. like that and then it wants those going up and down which we almost have already so that's cool all right so what you're saying is you don't want it that way okay lethal swivels his head wondering what it wants uh-huh well, we can't turn the centerpiece we can turn the centerpiece. Interesting. Well, look at that, Lethal. That's why it has the little, like, ribs on it, so you know you can turn it, right? So we'll turn it up like that, and then we'll swivel this here. Assuming it still wants it mirrored, because symmetry is a thing in this world, as far as I know. Not sure why they have these damn calipers on here. There we go. Oh my goodness, another non-Euclidean space. Just like in the movies. The study. So we have a whole room in here to actually, you know, take apart. So let's go ahead and do so. Oh, there's something down there, obviously. A tree, an acorn, and what appears to be a sprout. There's obviously something going on here. Handle is fixed in position. What kind of poopy handle is that, then? Uh huh. I. Hmm. It probably just did that because of point. It's not something special. Let's see if there's anything we can see here. There is a swirly. There is some sort of Celtic knot or something. There's a. A triangle down there. Lots of things to check out. Alright. Oh, there's also some things here. A couple of uh, fingerprints. Not sure what that means, but they're there. 
There's also a recess for a handle there, it would appear. Get that damn thing off so I <laughs> don't get a headache. Does it just do that on whatever one I point it towards? Yeah. Now you've ruined everything. I don't think we're getting anywhere on that. It's just how it works. All right, so we'll leave that to where it is. We're not making much headway there. We got a book. What's in the book? Manual for steam engine. Usually you want to look at these first. My wife calls, her voice rising up from the hall. Is it today? So soon? My mouth hangs limp as I watch my humble study transform. There are entire, <laughs> entire faculties less well equipped. Some of the machinery I can barely name. I remember to smile, remember to breathe. The target of my research is a curious thing, a newly discovered element, the properties of which are ill understood. So rare, so valuable. I catch Abigail beaming and my heart lifts. For once I, I can give her everything but I must keep her from these people. The circle is not to be trifled with, and my wife is a curious woman, the kind they hate the most. All right, there's nothing in there. Good. This must be the steam engine, which is probably the ultimate thing we want to mess with here. We've got a couple of drums. We've got what looks to be some kind of copper or brass conveyance. Uh, or electricity or something. Ah, uh, yes. I think I remember this. It looks like we can fill things here. This is the espresso machine. I can never figure these things out. Puzzle master that I am. In some manner of safe. With the most arbitrary lock I've ever seen. What about this? <gasps> My god, there's a thing in it. Medallion with four holes. Does, in fact, have four holes. How about that? Nothing special otherwise. Okay. Cool. Well, where can we use our holy medallion of lore? Lethal tilts his head quizzically like a dog. I don't think we can use it over here, but let's take a little, little look-see. Clicking on everything to see if I can zoom in anywhere. I don't think it's time to mess with this. Although it looks like there's a coffee pot over here. This must be another espresso machine. They really like their coffee in the non-Euclidean spaces. <laughs> but there's got to be something over here I'm missing. Let's fiercely click and see if it zooms in anywhere. Whenever you're stumped, that's usually a pretty good way to get this. Of course, I can't just open these things. That would be too easy. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's that handle that is just infuriatingly closed, but ever so far. Hmm. Which coffee machine do I need to work on? Is it this one? This one's also got levers, and also, like, balls. Why does this one have testicles? I don't understand. Why is this swivel? Huh? We need something to go in between there. Alright. Mm hmm. That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you're just trying to figure out what to do next. Let's look at the old eyeball. The game does have hints if you do need them, but oh, wait, I never actually used one of those once. Not even once. It's against my mantra. It has to be over here, but I don't know what it wants. These only show up on this? No, they're here, too. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. Is there a slot for a medallion somewhere? I was looking for th something with four pegs. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. 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 So it went, it went acorn, and then seedling, and then tree. Ah, we've done it. 
There we go. Now we're making some progress. We have a non-Nuclidian space, and we also have this. Uh-huh. Okay, so we need to swivel these. Can't rotate these by hand, because I'm ever so weak. What's this? Some kind of thing that needs a Phillips? Well, let's go look at the iridescent panel. Uh-huh. Okay, you don't like that shape? What kind of shape do you want? That looks like a shape. What else can we make here? Nothing really. It looks like it's supposed to be the triangle. Ah, I see. It can be rotated from the bottom. There you go. So that looks good. Uh huh. So you think you're done with one puzzle? There's actually another one. There's other another shape on there actually. I'm seeing something down there that certainly looks like our Pac-Man's. What's in the box? A thing for a medallion. How about that? Oop. See, like, sometimes you get stuck and then all of a sudden everything just falls into place. It's that aha moment that you really want from a puzzle game. All right, so clearly those all need to be facing out. I think this goes here. And once again, lethal is correct, as he often is. There's another non-Euclidean space. Can I open it, please? <laughs> you see me fiercely trying to open it. All right, another one of these puzzles. It's no Rubik's Cube, so I think I got this under control. Not that Rubik's Cubes can, uh, you know, cause me to have any issues. Unless they're like the 5x5s. Five those things do drive lethal bananas. All right, so this doesn't look right. There appears to be a thing on the top and bottom I can spin to. What's that? There's a thing ball there. Yeah. 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 Ah. All right, we got moons. Uh huh. Ah, I see. So these need to go here. We have this that can, like, uh, taxi cab things around. It's sort of like a Tower of Hanoi kind of thing we got going on here, so. Oh, I need it. I can't move it, though, yet. I need another a tool or something to actually bring this around town to actually move the taxi portion. What the hell is this? It's a button. Mmm. Oh, of course. <laughs> I just need to do that. A crank handle. All right, so this indicates that it moves these dumb things. We saw that other one before. This one right here. What the? This game is full of surprises. My God, and a thing ball in there. Fire steel. All right, neat. Well, there it is. And here's our crank handle. It's like I'm playing Resident Evil. And you'll see that this moves things, too. So I can put that right there. That looks good. We still gotta rearrange the other Pac-Mans, but we're looking pretty alright so far. Let's go ahead and slap this here. Yeah, see, it taxis it over. We go like this. I could have actually done that more performantly, but it's alright. Alright, so you can go here. And it, you'll notice that swivels it also, so that's something to keep in mind. We'll put this one here. This one could go down here. This one, of course, needs to go over to the other side. Come on. It's much easier in a tower in Hanoi, I'll t tell you that much. Okay, so these are both actually in the spots they need to be in. We just need to get this damn moon out of the way. Kind of awkward to do it with the mouse, to be honest. But there you go. The rotating motion is a bit awkward. What do we got here? Well, it's another one of these things that turns it. Go ahead and leave that right there, and hopefully I can get this heart of a model well. Well, well, well. Heart of a model well. 
is the well that all other wells aspire to be like. I thought that was something I could mess with. Okay. Well, the well obviously goes outside. I'm starting to remember this game where in the other room games, you sort of transition to other areas. No. In this one, like, the dollhouse is literally the entire game. Uh-huh. There's something missing here. There sure is. There's also, like, books. None of them are apparently interesting. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I guess we'll go out and put the well where it needs to go. There's a well spot right there, isn't there? Boop. Yeah. Another non-Euclidean space. Let's go. Wing. I had to double click it. <laughs> the kitchen. What's cooking? Uh-huh. Alright, so I need... I was going to say, you won't fit in there. We need some sort of handle to spin that. Sort of like this one, I think. So that one's open. It almost looks like something I can grab right there. Okay, I can spin it with that. Uh-huh. So that's what that sound was before. And for no particular reason, I can futz with this. Don't don't worry about it. It's not important. Not like how it lights up. It's all, I can't move for this particular reason. All right, so clearly we need to do something like this. And then we'll need to do something like this. And then, of course, there's this bastard. Which I probably need to do something like this. Ah. Got something cool in there. Let's take a look. Give it. You can just see me previously cooking. I'm all, give it. Give it. <laughs> like I'm trying to get away from a dog. We have some sort of bowling ball uh, hole arrangement on that one. What's this? There's another thing down here that looks similar. Alright. They just do this stuff to, to mess with lethal. I want that. Uh, what's in the book? The recipe book. I'm trying to get the latch. It's hard to see with all the black smoke being emitted. I pause in a shadow on the landing as I ra as the raised voices reach me from below. Guttural threats drip for with the promise of violence. Progress is slow, but why? I don't believe Edward knows how to fail. Their terminology is arcane. I piece together what little I can. These men are no scientists and are surely no gentlemen. Why did we invite them into our house? Finally, they leave. I must find Edward, but am I lost? I get turned about twice just finding the study. My father's study. A door I spent my childhood with is an e <laughs> with <laughs> Let's try it again. A door I spent my childhood with an ear pressed against. Now I can't recognize it except for the sense that I... <clears throat> except I can't recognize it except for the sense I get of what's behind. Like a dark stain in the world. Neat. Alright. There's a dumb waiter with a... a keg of something. Oh, okay. So that lifts, but we have some things we need to remove first. We need a pipe wrench. Something. Alright. Bread. We can't, we can't look at bread. That's something, though. What's this? Why? Okay, so we need something with, like, a Y indentation to go in there. There's a pipe. For you. You got a rod with handle. And rod we trust. There's something down there, but I can't reach it. Something being a bottle. If only I had doll seams abilities or just longer arms in general. I could go moo go moo no grab that. Okay, no... Uh, let's see. Let's 
gonna say that's not a thing. Well, we got a handle. Mm hmm. We got this thing, and we got you. I'm not sure how many of you we can use. Might be time to go back to the uh, the study place. No, we can't do anything with you. Let's try this. Well, actually, let's look at these bells first. Ah. Ah, that one's got a circle on it. What does that mean? Okay, clearly there's some sort of order that needs to happen here. Also, that's a wing nut. I was going to say, hopefully I can spin that off. Ah! So we have triangle, line, double triangle, double circle. What does that mean? Lethal tilts his head. I see a circle here. I'm not seeing any other shapes on these bells. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Clearly it must have something to do with this, but I don't know what it wants. Let's try another one. Let's assume that you're the thing. I heard some. Ah, lethal's too good. Local man, too good. Receives object. It's, it, it opens. I know where this goes. Looking at the base, it has that star. That's definitely a study item. And being that it's an inkwell, it definitely belongs in the study. Okay, well, let's head back to the study. Clearly, we have something for it. All right, back to study town. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> I like that I have to double click on that. Although I suppose I'm somewhat immersed. All right, so we have this thing. This goes over here. And this little thing ball. There you go. Now I can open it. It had a button in this inside the whole time. What's that? Another Pac-Man thing. I love Pac-Man things. I'm not sure what that does. Huh. Okay. Cool. Lethal tilt's head. Uh huh. Okay, so I need to have them correspond to the lines. Gotcha. That one's that one. This one's the trying a bob. There you go. Lethal wins the end. As he often does. What do we got here? A strange enamel fragment. Looks like a little, like, steak from the side. Except it has pins in it. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Let's put that about halfway, see where it's looking. Local man too good? Come on. Uh-huh. Something strange about this aperture. Yeah, it's got rubies spinning around it. Let's just go ahead and propel ourselves inward. Why not? Into the inner workings of the desk. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, well, I get what I'm doing, but I'm not sure what I need to do with this. sure this is doing something. I just don't know what. Alright. Cool. We'll give him one of those, and I guess I'll give him another one of these. Oh, there's another one up there. Let's see if I can fondle this into position just by luck, I guess. Well, what was that doing? Lethal again til tilts his head and wonders. All right, let's go back in. There's got to be some indication of something happening other than, you know, 
gears just turning. Hmm. Although I'm not sure what. Ah, okay. I'm seeing that now. For some reason, I thought there was more to it. Lethal's just being a little stupid. Okay, and then we also need to move that thing. Move this one over here. And then this one should move the top one, right? There you go. Sorry to be so obtuse. We're going to get through this, probably. I got it, Gordon. Huh. I was going to say it's part of a grenade. <laughs> a model, a handle of a model pump. So we have a well and we have a pump at this house, huh? Oh. I think we're done with the desk. Bye. Don't get, don't get your fingers stuck in there. Well, we still don't have anything on top, but I guess we got a pump. So that's cool. I mean, pumps are pretty cool. I'm trying to remember what those things were I was looking for in this game were. I think you can get locked out of them. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I'm thinking of a prior... The room. I'll have to look at. Alright, so we got a mall pump thing. Is that a pump? Structure looks incomplete. I don't think that's the pump. That's some manner of gazebo. Ah, that looks like a pump. We probably need that to get the kitchen working. It's a big old pump. It's just looking at the scale of the house. Next time I go in there, it's just going to be flooded. <laughs> Alright. Well, clearly we need to go back in the kitchen. I hear water run. There it is. Thankfully I'm not dead. Our bottle is floated, and it's very big. It's much larger than it appeared earlier, huh? A glass bottle room. Oh, it's a screw top. It looks like a cork from the outside. A torn photograph. Alright, neat. Uh-huh. Alright, it's got a train on it. Cool. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could look at that inside the, uh, inside the inventory. So I got a train picture. Maybe there were some train pictures in the study? Let's go ahead and go back. can't enter it unless you have the eyepiece on. Those are the rules. Lethal looks around. Train piece. Now it's iridescent, of course. Uh-huh. Alright, so we got a cross, S, lost, or lost, and then a, uh, gonna say a Japanese character I've seen before. Alright. Cross, thing, thing. Okay, so first we go cross. Which I guess is that one. S. Loss. And then Japanese character. There we go. He's done it again. My god, there was a train there the whole time. And it's got triangles on it. Hey, we have something for that. The lever has exposed itself. Alright. And I think we know what this is. Well, this is the wheel for the train. There you go. Uh-huh. So clearly it needs to go up here. Hmm. 
Why can't I make it go up, though? Oh, I see. There's little indentations on the bottom. So if I can swivel it around, damn this thing. Okay. Now I can go and put this... Er, er. <laughs> Come on, Leafly. You just can go up and down with this thing. It's not that complicated. Just need to stop being stupid. I can't move it from there, though. So maybe if I put it up here? No? I gotta walk it around, I think. So it's gotta go up and down. Like this. There we go. Now it's happy. And there's a cross on it. A button. I love buttons. You found a metal stud. Praise the scholars. A stud. Uh-huh. Well, what's this thing do? I see. So that clearly moves the train or does something whenever I have all the pieces in place. Uh-huh. Need something to connect the wheels to the piston. The wheels, as it was. What's this? I was going to say, I see it. What looked like a handle. There's got to be a reason I'm back here. Maybe this is where the stud goes? What? There you go. And we got our thing. Metal rod. And rod we trust. Cow catcher, or a metal grill as it calls it. All right, this transforms obviously. There we go. That's a proper cow catcher right there. We'll look at that in just a moment. But first, we put this on the front. There we go. You got an L-shaped connector. There's apparently a combo on the front. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we have a piece that goes into here. Oh, I see. It's like a record. It lies in that groove and does things. Can we go in the train? You know we can go in the train. That hatch. I've seen this before. Yeah, this is when we propel ourselves inward. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. I do not have a thing for that. Uh huh. That one doesn't do things. Put that one over there so we can see both of them. I don't know what they are, but there they are. Hmm. Okay, so let's aim them both up if we can. All the flashes in this game. Alright, go up. Yeah, there's definitely something in there if I can get the rotation to behave. Behave. There we go. There we go. Both the things are up. Uh, this is where we keep the Mugen. I understand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Okay, so they have the combo for it. I see numbers on there. Alright, so if I open up this... BF. Alright, BF. 25 BF. 25 BF. <laughs> Come on, game. 25. BF. It's the train you love. If it isn't, then what are you doing? 
Hey, we got a place for that. Although, I'm not sure how it's going to fit in there. It'll be bigger when we get inside the train, I'm sure. For, you know, reasons. We're just going to take it out of our pocket and it's going to be large enough to go here. Alright, let's wind the sucker up. Oh, great, it's clicking. Or ticking, rather. It's a bomb! It's hard to see the things actually holding it up. I was all, how is this suspended up there? All right, let's use the handle. We'll clearly do something now. There we go. The most obtuse way to open this desk. All right, what's in the Applied Mechanics Handbook? I underestimated my clients. The null element is no curio. It is remarkable. It is all, but also nothing. <laughs> they underestimate me also. This is my calling. I feel its embrace, and I am whole. But how am I to progress with this insufferable racket? With each month of work, Abigail trusts less, cries more. I change the lock. She beats relentlessly on my door. She pleads constantly, warning me of danger. Of course there is danger there, here, sweet wife. There's everything here. For there is not outside. For there is not outside. What does that mean? I wanted only to give you everything you dreamed of. But with this, with this I can give you so much more. I can give you what's in the box. Which, I mean, that's what I want. Pretty good. Speaking of what's in the box, it's time again for what's in the box. What's in the box today? This is in the box. A model chimney. The chimney that all other chimneys aspire to be like. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and slap that on the, uh, the outside of this model dollhouse. Lethal... Squints and surveys the dollhouse. He sees chimneys. He's looking for a place absent of said t chimney so he can slap it on. Ah, right here. That's a satisfying little noise. Of course. Uh huh. Ah. See, it's not only just fudging with stuff. Sometimes you have to look at stuff at the one angle and it just triggers it. Don't ask how it triggers it. It just does. And we're opening this thing wide open. Another non-Euclidean space for us to go into. How about that? This recording has gone on a lot longer than I expected. I'll probably break this up in the two videos. Try to break it on, I don't know, the chapter, right? Let's see what we got here. Or maybe I'll just get lazy and upload the whole thing. You know me. <laughs> Ever mercurial lethal. Alright, well, clearly there's something up here. Piece of the globe is missing. It sure is. Let's see. I was gonna say, is that Japan there? Something out in the Pacific. And yeah, there's the Americas. Oh, there's a couple pieces mi missing. I have something from the west side of Africa. The back side of South America is missing. Alright. Cool, cool. Is there a book in here? There's probably a book in here somewhere. There's a book. The Compendium of Curiosity. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, my eyes! Why are all these books so bright? My husband is stranger now. That man, the man in the study is not him. What is this place? Was it what's my home? It twists and rides. I retreat to my attic, the attic, my childhood refuge. The dollhouse that father built was a world within a world. It seems so fragile now, so tiny. 
I see the crack in the floorboards. I remember spying on father in his study. It is my husband's study now. It takes a while for my eyes to adjust, to make out his bunched or hunched rather form. He works as if in a trance. I copy symbols, sketch apparatus, record all I can. I still have friends at the Royal Institute. They will hear of this no in Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, Edward. You always were such a kidder. Uh-huh. Was there something near the book? I feel like in other room games, they usually had, like, something you looked at, maybe you read, and then there was something adjacent to that thing. Well, you are certainly a thing and a half, aren't you? I don't think I have enough information to really solve that just yet. Oh, you got a part of your face missing. <laughs> you still have another part of your face, face missing. Grimoth, do not watch this video. Uh-huh. All right, well, we put that on there, but we need something else. We need to find an eyeball somewhere. Is that a button I can press? That's a f switch I can flip. Uh-huh. All right, cool. Okay. You got some, uh... You got some scarring on the pelvis area. And that's really all I'm seeing here. Okay. How am I supposed to remember all this garbage? So we have a double cross over a triangle... A triangle accusing a euro of something. A triangle looking at north. Okay, and that's as far as I can go that way. So let's head on up. That's as far as I can go here. Only three of them? I guess so. So that's all, yeah, like the arrow's doing all the stuff. So it's like arrow to that, arrow to that, arrow to the other thing. Arrow the north. Nothing down here. Oh, okay. So here's the arrow. So we had one arrow to the euros. We had one arrow to north somewhere in there. I'm not sure what the order would be, though. Here are the crosses. That's probably the top one. Here are the euros. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. I think we're missing a piece here. Because clearly something needs to go into here. Some sort of heart for the mechanical man. Anything on the hands? His legs have clasps. Oh, there's a thing there on the arm, but I can't get to it. It's not relevant yet. Hmm. Alright, well let's take a look around at the other stuff. What's this? Okay, we're missing a moon piece, it looks like. Can't click on this yet, so it opens after I insert that piece, as far as I can discern. Hey, there's a globe piece in here. Alright. There's a label here, but no object. Alright, so something needs to go there later. Alright, what are we looking at here? It looks like the middle of the ocean. Or actually, no, that's Africa right there. Alright, Africa, where are you? Boop. Alright, good. <laughs> Can I do something like this? Oh, hey. Look at that. The thing. Of course. You, you didn't expect us to be, like, traversing a light on this? Usually person, you. How could you not think this is exactly what had to happen? Here, and then boop, boop, boop. 
There you go. So we solved Africa. And he has given us another piece of the globe. Great. Alright, thank you, table. This is the back ass... <laughs> the back ass? <laughs> yes, the back ass of uh, South America. Alright, go ahead and slap that up there. So we need to go and do something like this. And when I say something like this... Let's go ahead and bring this down here. No? Okay, so it does need to go up here, but we need to get traversed to somewhere else real quick. No, not there, huh? Alright. Lethal tilts his head. Do you like the sounds in this game? They're very satisfying. There's literally nothing that actually meets that, huh? Other than this. Okay, so what am I missing other than a brain? I can't swivel my point of view so it can actually go across that, so there must be something on this it actually meets with, and I'm just not seeing it. What am I missing here? Ah, oh, that swivels. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> of course it swivels like that. How could you be so stupid and not realize it swivels like that? I bet programming this that worked like this was a real pain in the ass. Good work, good job to him, though. All right, another globe piece, probably right. No, a carved piece of wood. Not sure what this is. Have we seen something like this before? I don't know. Hmm. Also, I see something in there. We might be able to get to that once it's actually done, I'm guessing. There also appears to be a clasp right there, but we can't mess with it. Alright, well, I'll get this into position so we can put that in there later. Alright, well, I got a thing ball. Don't think it goes here. I mean, it's kind of a moon-like shape. Maybe it does. No, I didn't think so. We're trying, though. Anything else for us to mess with? No, we don't have anything that goes there. Might be time to go to other places again. It's it's so easy to get into these games and then just miss something. This almost looks like it could go on par of his arm, but we can't go closer. No. That cabinet doesn't hold anything. It's just open to, you know, provoke your interest. Oh, what? Oh, it's going... Oh. Ah, okay, so we'll need that for later. Keep that in mind. A lot of bullshit going on here, actually. If you ever can't see anything, or you ever stumped, always throw on that. There you go, it's some kind of tiki head. Okay, cool. Hey, 
Clearly, I don't have enough information to really solve this one yet. Give me a look at this one over here. Alright, so one eye goes up there, browse down, mouth open. Really, it's this, the eyes that you need to pay attention to. Does it need the opposite way? Maybe it wants it to be exactly the same and not mirrored? Come on, you. Don't fight me. I will win. <laughs> That's how fighting works. Hmm. Browse down. That one that way. That one that way. It looks right. So, it well, we did do it mirrored, though, right? Let's take a closer look. I don't think those matter. I don't think those can move. They can move, son of a bitch. All right. So we need to bring this wide piece down to the lower right. Unless it wants it mirrored. Nope, it wants it exactly the same. And there's our final map piece. Take that. Does this turn or anything? Something must fit in this socket. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, whenever you see these sort of, like, ribs, it usually means something goes in there. Alright, well, let's go back to the globe. Alright, slap that up there. It's a little shippy. Where's the thing bottle? There it is, and these things swivel. Okay. Yar, har, and fill the D. Aha! I'm onto your tricks now. Anything that's red can move. Aha! Dur -dur -dur. What a neat thing. That's why I love these games. They're very, very imaginative with their little puzzles. Like, they're not terribly hard. They're just fun. Oh, Scar Cannon. Oh, my goodness. All right. Up here. The rat's nest swivels. And we're good. There's the handle that I looked at before. I want to pull on it. Yeah. That guard are going... It's a laser puzzle. I love laser puzzles. Lethal, you love every fucking puzzle. Yes. The guilty is charged. Alright. What kind of... Uh... Can this thing move? This thing cannot move. What's this? Anything else? Okay. Hmm. Can this rotate or anything? Trying to figure out how I can angle it down. Because everything's not aimed the right way, right? Okay, I think I see it. I think I see it. There you go. Because this is a portal. You can you can kind of see it, but it's kind of hard to see from that angle. So it goes in one, it comes out the other. We ultimately need to get down there. Alright, well we can probably make that happen. Locate these things over here. Lethal frowns. Lethal continues frowning. I guess we don't have to put it there, huh? Cannot move that. Hmm. 
There's only one way this can really go, which is that way. Okay. Oh. Aha. There's more than meets the eye. Derp, 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 derp. There we go. It's easy once you realize there's more to the puzzle. Alright, so that did something. What'd it do? Ah, there it goes. I was gonna say, oh my god, there's Anubis in there. Literally Anubis. Okay, bye. That's where you keep your Anubis head, right? In your globe? Alright, I think we know where that goes, right? What goes more with Tiki's than Anubis? Gonna say you put the wrong head on the wall, it kills you. <laughs> My god, there's a giant diamond in there. Not sure what that is, but it's it, it's adorable. I'll take it. Alright, well I guess you're done. Use this it only to give me a thing. Also, Hugo. Alright, so that's, uh... Abigail's father there. Okay, well, I think I know where this goes. This has to go in the display case. We have our other gems here. They're truly outrageous. And we get an iron. An ornate iron. Okay, so we need to release it. What the hell are these? Now, what is that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, so we have the ones on the other side, I see. So that's pushing against those and causing that to move. You don't have anything that can cause these to move, right? Hmm. Well, this is a self-contained puzzle, so the solution has to be in here. You can't fiddle with that switch anymore. I feel like that has to move. How can I move that? Ah. Like that. Alright, so we move this up here. That clicks in the place. We move this down here. That clicks in the place. Then we go ahead and move it forward. No. Damn it. There you go. Now we got it. A metal handle. Fantastic. Now where would one use a metal handle? Also these books? Don't matter. You are not a metal handle spot. Your nominal handle spot. I feel like this goes in a different room. Looking at the design, it looks like it goes into the uh, into the kitchen. So let's go to the kitchen real quick. It's been a while since we've been there. Might work on one of those espresso machines we've been messing with. Espresso machines. Wait, this is it's not the kitchen. We need to go to the study. But maybe it works here too. Aha! It does. Damn, I'm good. Even when I screw up, I go to the right place. <laughs> Alright, we have the thing for this. There we go. That got it going. See, the puzzle there is just cranking in the right direction, guys. So it throws sparks onto the coals. Oh. Alright, you have a valve handle. Oh, why? We know where that goes. Do we lethal? Yes, we do. It goes over here. And I want you to go this way. 
There you go. Now we got some steam going, eh? Huh? Steam for a certain espresso machine, if I had my guess. Finally, I can have my frost milk. Alright, let's go back up here then. The things you do to get some caffeine in the morning, I swear to God. Alright, so that's cool. And now that thing can actually go down. Hmm. Oh, there's a thing that goes up and down here. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay, that's good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> the metal is too hot to touch. But as soon as I turn that off, then I can touch it. Oh, I see. One of those is, is uh, turned this way. I need to get them all turned like that. I'm trying to figure out how, though. Well, you just click on them, Lethal. Oh. Well, don't I feel stupid. There we go. And that gets your balls spinning. Mysticular torsion. Now we can go ahead and open the safe. Which will hopefully have some beans in it so I can get this espresso going. That's not beans. A pipe connector. Connector of pipes. Praise the scholars. Well, you got pipes, right? I don't see any place to put that, though. Okay, I think I know where this goes. We need to go over here. Turn that off. Aim this up, right? There you go. And then... And now... That we've opened the safe, we can actually get this process started, right? It not only makes espressos, it also opens safes. Uh-huh. Does it turn? No. Well, no, I can't click on that. What about this thing? There's a lever right there. That lever doesn't want to be futz with. What about this? That got to go on. Seems like a good idea. All right, so where do I put my cup on this thing? Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's just right there in the middle, guys. <laughs> A strange object. Oh... Well, that nearly took out my eye. I think the horrors are back, everyone. They're going to force me out of this dimension, too. That's unfortunate. Another portion will be obscured. You know, since I'm going to just cut these up anyway, I guess I'll just keep going. A room dense with obsession. A study can be a refuge or a prison. 
I have walked free of its bars. But my task remains. Break the seal. Find the null.